So hi everyone, I am Helen Terry and I'm here at Soma Ranch and having a conversation with, I love to say, the one, the only, the most fabulous Natasha, who is a budding, relatively new teacher um, and, um, and tomorrow in some ways is, is a big deal for Natasha, but I also think it's simply the next step and I'm really grateful, Natasha, that you're going to be covering my Saturday morning classes for me. So on tradition, we have a, an 8.45 a.m. near five stages, and then there's a 15 minute break. And then we go straight into the 10 a.m. classic class. And, and I know what you mean when you said something earlier, Natasha, of how th there's like a, a slightly different vibe with that Saturday morning class, perhaps, than, than classes during the week. And um, I was delighted when I asked you a few weeks ago if you wanted to teach for me. So. How are you feeling? And do you want to share a little bit about what you're going to be teaching tomorrow? Sure, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling a mix of emotions. I've gone through some waves of a little bit of anxiety and like, oh my gosh, I'm actually doing this two classes back to back. Normally when I teach my own Mia classes, I like to have a good at least half hour before class just to review some of the material, the routine, listen to the music, just kind of like get myself focused. And so it's going to be really interesting moving from five stages right into a classic Mia class. Um, and today, yesterday, I felt a little bit more stressed and anx anxious about it. And today I'm feeling a lot more relaxed. I just feel like, like you said, it's the next step. And um I I listened to something you told me yesterday or you mentioned yesterday about exper really experiencing the five stages teaching and then bringing that sense of, of calm and Mia five stages for me is extremely healing and meditative even to deliver it it's it's such a beautiful practice and so I really trust that if I can deliver that five stages class and stay in that space of expansion and passion and um, heart, grounded heart, that everything's going to be fine. Like the routine's going to flow organically and uh, I'll be focused, but a more raw, relaxed place of focus than like hyper you know, adrenaline kind of focus. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really um, looking forward to it. Yeah, it sounds good. I mean, I think it's great. I like the concept we have in Nia called isolate to integrate. And in some ways you've took, you've taken, I mean, you've been a dedicated student. I feel like you've taken so many Nia five stages classes. And I really think that's a wonderful foundation to be a great teacher is to be a great student. And I feel like you have so, shown up, been dedicated, attended regularly, but also like you've, you've gone, everyone has their own choice of how deep they go. And I feel that you really have gone deep into the work. And then you did the training for near five stages. And now you've developed, you've taught several classes yourself. You've already taught near five stages for me. And I tell you, the first time you taught near five stages, you really did blow me away. I was like, oops. This is so well prepared. I think your voice is delightful. I feel that you hold the space for people in a beautiful way. I really sense your authenticity and how you come from heart. And then also the, the actual, your, your preparation and um, just attention to detail. Like you really do practice in advance. And, and then your PowerPoints and the pictures that you choose and and how you bring all that together, it really is a, I mean, a multimedia experience, which as a teacher, it's like a lot more bells and whistles to juggle. And you do that with so much incredible ease, total pro. Um, and sometimes I think um, how you feel on the inside is a little different from what we see on the outside, you know, in the, <laughs> you are authentic. And I just, I just feel you excel. I think you're so professional yet in a way that you let everybody in and I really feel like when I'm taking a class from you as a student with your voice and your presence and your preparation, I feel held, I feel seen, I feel that you're um, 
one thing about Neo Five Stages here is is the timing of we got a lot of things to do within the hour, yet providing enough time for people to really feel to heal. And um, and that's not necessarily easy for the teacher. However, I think you make it look easy. So in summary, isolating, you've done all of that already with near five stages. You're a gifted teacher there. And then you've already taught a lot of near classes yourself, both within our 30 day challenge group and also with your regular people that you're teaching both in person and online. So you got all those skills and now all it is is bringing these two together and from my experience through the pandemic of having every Saturday morning the hour of the five stages, the little 15 minute break, and then going into the near class. Um, yes, it is compressed. It's like, oh, I have less time you know, to prepare than normal. But the flip side is I really hope you're going to experience what I have experienced. And that is teaching for that hour is a gift. I, I love the expression that teaching is one of the best ways to learn for ourselves. And I hope that you'll find tomorrow what I found along the way, and that is that teaching for the hour is flooding you with information, ahas, somatic moments. And then when you go to teach the 10 a.m., you're going to find things just naturally flow out of your mouth without thinking. I hope you're going to go to a new level of realizing I've got this. It is good to be prepared, but I don't always need to be half an hour, you know, before realizing, wow, I have more within me than I even realized. And that's going to help you lighten up even more, find the easy way and open to lots of pleasure while you're teaching. So oh. I hope that helps. <laughs> it does. And I can, I can already imagine and sense exactly what you're saying. I know when I teach the five stages class, it truly is. It's funny. Tomorrow I'm teaching the routine sacred following Nia five stages. And I was just going to say Nia five stages is truly a sacred experience for me. Yeah. Um, it's a real sacred practice. So um, bringing those two together, I think would be really magical. Yeah. Yeah. I really feel like you've done the preparation long-term and then also short-term in preparation for this class. And now I say, just ride the waves of pleasure, recognizing your level of professionalism is, is really outstanding. And I feel really blessed that you're one of our teachers on our team. You really are a rock star. So, um, so your focus is mobility and stability. Yeah. And you're going to be doing that both for near five stages and for the class. Do you want to give us a little bit more of a description of how you think that's going to go down? <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> um, yeah, so mobility. Well, I love the fans, the sensations of fitness. I I love how they infuse my knee experience. Well, they they deepen my knee experience, and so um, narrowing it down and focusing it focusing in on two will be unique because I've taught Nia with the five sensations. I've taught it with one sensation, but the relationship between two sensations is a new, is new to me. Um, so playing with that sense of stability, stable stillness, um, what comes to mind right now, and, and there's much more that I'll bring to, to the lesson, particularly the five stages lesson. But when I, when I think stability and I think five stages, personally, I receive so much support from the earth, that grounding sensation. I, I think I've said before to other people, when I practice Nia five stages, I feel like the earth is, is holding me from underneath and behind. And it provides me with that sense of stability, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally. It's such a powerful um, experience. And then to experience mobility, um, again, not just physically, like mobility physically is described as, as continuous, constant motion right think like creepy crawlers and mobilizing <laughs> the spine non-stop continuous motion i think embryonic we're we're moving in this fluid circular um, motion but also in the other realms in terms of emotions and the mental realm 
for for me, it's impossible to separate those. I know often Nia and some Nia practitioners um, focus primarily on the physical body. And when I'm moving through a knee experience and when I'm delivering a knee experience, I really hope that people experience the focus on in all realms. Mm. So I'm, I feel like I'm spiraling a little bit here, but <laughs> it's, um, uh, yeah, I, I've got, naturally I've got the script for tomorrow. So everything's all planned out and um, yet, yet there's gonna be an organic flow to it. And I love the focus, mobility, stability, the dance, mm -hmm. the dance between the two, balance. I How think we I can't have one without the other. Exactly. And I so find it like you're saying you're spiraling, but I think you're, you how you were sharing was such a such an example of your sharing so grounded and stable and, and letting your creativity flow with what's <laughs> going on. I think it's just it was a beautiful um, introduction to it. And you really I think you tap into something that's so important, like as impossible it is to to cut my hand off from my body. I think if we truly are providing a somatic body centered practice, wherever my body goes, so is the potential for me to be really also connected with my mind, my heart and my spirit. And they really do go together, like the different parts of the body, we can't separate them. I really feel those four realms cannot be separated. And yeah, I'm with you, how wonderful we can focus on the body and all the other realms get to be taken on a really a healing energy ride. And, um, and also you're tapping into, yeah, we look at the body's, um, the five principles of the body's way. And one of them is the body's way is simultaneous mobility and stability. And I think that simultaneous is not only between the two dynamics of stability and mobility, but I feel that word simultaneous is saying simultaneously body centered, which also means mentally, emotionally, and in spirit, we have the opportunity to play with stability and mobility. And really in life, without stability, we're bankrupt. Yeah, I think of lack of stability of being a, a, a four-legged chair that's lost a leg, yeah? That's <laughs> unstable, if that chair's unstable, I'm less limited with how can I sit? How can I move in that chair? Everything is affected by, if for the example of the chair, by my chair having three legs instead of four. But when we have that true balance stability, we can move so much better through our body. And like you said, we can move with all those other dimensions without necessarily thinking directly about them. They simply come along for that healing energy ride. And that's what I mean about how you, I think, organically hold the space yeah? and um, you bring who you are, you bring your dedicated practice, you do your stellar preparation. Um, yet when you teach, nothing seems forced. Everything feels natural. There's a flow to it. And I'm really glad you are up for the, up for the invitation rather than saying the challenge. And um, I really hope that you enjoy the opportunity teaching and um, those people that are taking class live or in the recording, I simply think they're really in for a great treat. So thank you oh. so much. Anything thank else you. you want to add before we click off? Oh, goodness. Uh, no, no, just thank you so much for the opportunity, Helen, and um, for everybody who's joining in tomorrow. It'll be so much fun. Yeah, well, that's lovely. Well, you rock. You are a rock star, and I'm excited for your teaching tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you.